Welcome all who wander and the curious. For today is a quick episode requested by a subscriber in the audience. So ensure you're ruling with moral integrity, for today we'll be diving into the world of the enlightened chillin. What the chillin lacks in the quality of stories, it makes up for it in its quality stature. To make this episode just a smidge longer, we'll also be talking about the Japanese Kirin. These two creatures respectfully share a lot of uncanny similarities, like they're the mysterious introverts of the mythical realm. In the heart of Chinese folklore, the chillin emerges as a creature of celestial grace. Its roots intertwine with both Taoist and Confucian beliefs, symbolizing virtue and auspiciousness. Now, imagine a creature resembling a chimera. The body of a deer, the tail of an ox, hooves like a horse, and a single horn adorning from its noble head. Revered in Chinese folklore, the chillin is often considered a symbol of good fortune and prosperity. On top of majestic palaces adorned with intricate carvings, there atop a sacred pedestal stands the chillin. It's not just merely a creature, it's the great guardian of virtue. On the other side of the globe, the Kirin in Japanese culture is believed to be the harbinger of peace and serenity. It's like the mythical Zen master of the creature world, promoting good vibes and tranquility wherever it roams. But just like the Chillin, the Kirin is also said to appear during the reign of a wise and benevolent ruler. Yeah, imagine having a Kirin standing tall, casting a cosmic sidelong glance at you. Yeah, I'd too be a bit nervous. Unveiling the historical legends behind these creatures, we'll find ourselves in the realm where myth and reality intertwine. Tales of the Chillin often depict it as a gentle creature, avoiding harm to even the tiniest of insects. It's basically the vegetarian of the mythical world, just without making you feel bad for eating that Japanese A5 imported Miyazaki Wagyu whole boneless ribeye. Legends tell that the Chillin has appeared in the Garden of the Legendary Yellow Emperor, as well as in the capital of Emperor Yao. Both events bore testimony to the benevolent nature of the rulers. It's also been told that the birth of the great sage Confucius was foretold by the arrival of a Chillin. In the Ming Dynasty, the legendary image of the Chillin became associated with the image of the giraffe. This curious connection began after Zheng Ho's 15th century voyage to East Africa, where giraffes were brought back to Nanjing and was mistaken by the emperor for the mythical creature. Even today in both Korean and Japanese culture, the term for both the mythical creature and the giraffe remains consistent. In modern times, the depiction of Chillin has often been fused with the Western concept of unicorns. But in modern China, this one-horned beast is used for unicorns. Several different Chinese mythical creatures could also be depicted with a single horn. The term Chillin in Chinese is often used to describe someone with outstanding moral character. So next time someone says you're a chill dude, take it with great honor and respect. Intriguingly, the Chillin's presence is sometimes linked to jade, a symbol of purity and virtue in Chinese culture. With its virtuous connotations, it aligns seamlessly with the symbolism of jade. On the opposite side of the river, Japanese art tends to depict the Kirin as more deer-like than Chinese art, sometimes portrayed as partially unicorn-like in appearance. Girin, or Kirin, is the Korean form of Chillin. Initially depicted as more deer-like over time, they have transformed into a more horse-like appearance. Girin was extensively used in Korean royal and Buddhist arts. In Thailand, the Chillin is known as Jilin, and is a member of the pantheon of the Thai Hemipant Forest Mythical Animals. Man, try saying that five times fast. It represents elemental magical forces and was likely introduced under the influence of the Tai Ye from southern China. In the rich tapestry of Asian cultures, the Chillin and Kirin stand as symbols, embodying shared values of harmony, virtue, and the cosmic balance. From celestial guardians to cultural ambassadors, these mythical creatures transcend borders, serving as a testament to the interconnectedness of diverse cultures. With depictions ranging from the benevolent Lin to the unicorn-like forms, the Chillin and Kirin gracefully ride the winds of time, consistently inspiring awe and commanding respect. And so as our journey through the myths of Chillin and Kirin come to a close, I'm thrilled to share a major milestone with you all today. This channel officially surpassed 50 subscribers. In the short video itself, having an impressive 1600 views, 
man, really mean my jaws drop. And so whether you see this as a small achievement or a significant milestone, with each and every one of you contributing to this success, your support is truly incredible. Thank you all for wandering into my channel and for those who are even more curious enough to stay. And so remember to like, subscribe, and comment on the next creature or story that you might think is cool. For the next video, we will be learning about the deathless bird itself, the phoenix. And until then, may you navigate life's journey with a noble spirit, your days be adorned with the celestial blessings, and your adventures be nothing short of legendary. Peace, peace.